All right, so I recently just had this idea to watch the first time Goku went Super Saiyan. Like, I wouldn't consider myself a fan of Dragon Ball Z because, like, I don't know, like, I'm a hater of Dragon Ball Z, but not really. It's just, like, this joke I have with one of my friends because he, he's, like, a big fan of Goku and Dragon Ball Z. So, like, I'm, like, I'll be, like, oh, I hate Dragon Ball Z, but, like, I don't really care about it too much. But in respect of the, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, Akira... Toriyama. I don't know. I don't really know if I said it correct, but in respect to him, I wanted to watch the first time Goku went Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct. But I don't know. Like I just heard Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct was like crazy. Like I've seen his transformation already. I, like I've seen him when he's already transformed, like with the white color, whatever. But I haven't seen him like when he did the transformation. Not only did he inspire like multiple people that like anime and that watch Dragon Ball Z, he also like made anime go from like a niche thing that only like you and your friends watch or only some people that know about it watch to like a mainstream thing and not even that he inspired people that watched it he inspired people that watch Dragon Ball Z and just anime and then he even inspired Oda the creator of One Piece and the creator of the best anime ever Naruto which is Kishimoto he inspired them too and they're they're in the top they're in the big three and he inspired them to make manga of their own. And they did. And they literally made anime that became the big three. Known as the big three. I'm not sure if the creator of Bleach got inspired by Akira. But I think he probably did. But I'm gonna stop talking because this is a long intro. But Okay, so this is not the episode where it happened. But this is like someone cut it up and put it on YouTube. And like it's just pretty much this. Oh, I think that's the rum. Yep. That's the rumbling. From Goku. No, the entire no realm is being shaken by some sort of Damn, the whole realm, the whole realm is getting shake. <clears throat> me, there's only one good okay, before I found out about Broly, this dude for some reason, I don't know if for some reason when I first saw Dragon Ball Z, this dude, I like this dude for some reason. I don't know, like he always just stood out to me until I found Broly. I was like, oh, uh, my favorite character is Broly out of Dragon Ball Z. But uh, before Broly, it was Jiren, because Jiren seemed very strong, but then I found Broly, and yeah, Broly's my favorite character, mainly because he's strong as crap, and too, because he's color green, and my favorite color is green, so that's why. But I'll say it's Broly, then Goku, but I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, so, yeah. Here it comes. Atami Ultra is dead! Oh. Dude, this dude's lifting up the gravel, all damn rocks. Wait, how does that even work? Like, you turn it to, and then the, the rocks just start floating. Nah, Jaren, sit down, buddy. <laughs> sit down, nah, nah. Sit down now. Oh, wait, that was it? Damn, okay. Oh, crap. <laughs> no, there's no way that was the transformation. They had to have cut it. Do you not see his aura? This dude has a whole third eye. Are they going to show him fighting? Wait. Sharon was able to block with dodge that? <sighs> what the f- Oh, okay, yeah. Go yeah, Goku just- Ew, Goku just playing with him. Yeah, Sharon. Sit your flat neck down on the on the little rock, cause your time's done. He's amazing. I've never seen my dad move like this. Jaren, sit down, boy. What have you become? Isn't Ultra's thing like a god level Saiyan thing? I've heard that like Vegeta trains like crazy, but why isn't Vegeta as strong as Goku, or a little bit stronger than Goku? Cause I've heard, and I've seen like clips, cause. One of our friends is like, he's like a big fan of Vegeta. And mainly, mainly because his brother is a fan of Goku. So I guess he just picked Vegeta. He showed me stuff and then I've seen some stuff where, where Vegeta trains like crazy. But isn't stronger than Goku though. I feel like the thing, the reason I feel like Vegeta isn't strong is because he is strong. He's just not as strong as Goku or a little bit stronger than him. Is because he trains too much and doesn't really give his body too much rest. 
And I feel like the reason Goku is strong is because Goku doesn't really focus on trying to be stronger than his friends. He just tries to focus on becoming the strongest he can. And he trains, but he also gives himself, he also gives himself time to like rest and recover. And Vegeta is always out here like, train, 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 kind of. But also because Goku is the main character, but I don't know. But tell me in the comment sections because I don't really know. I haven't really seen Dragon Ball Z, so, or I haven't seen Dragon Ball at all. So I really don't know why vegeta isn't stronger or why they're not at the same level or they might be on the same level and i'm just talking out of my butt but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and if you have any suggestions of what to react comment them down below and thanks for watching just remember god loves you and peace out